It was there, the authority is there. And still the concern remains that even planning for the Guam Fire Department's Community Firefighter Reserve Program has not yet kicked off. Senator Adolfo Palacio sent a letter to Acting Fire Chief John Salas questioning him on the matter as to why his agency failed to even begin the process of implementing the program by drafting the rules and regulations. I cannot implement the program. Even if I were to develop the rules and regulations and adopt it, so what? So he has those, those, those mechanisms. He's the one that's going to use it, not me. In light of the shortage that they, they say they have, and I, I know that they, they are short of staff, and the use of uniform officers uh, uh, in the administration building, I believe this program can fit, fit in and fill in some of these uh, needs. However, JFD spokesperson Captain Andy Arceo admits the agency just doesn't have the money. It's a fantastic program. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to implement it due to the fact that we don't have money uh, because the law states that we must provide them with equipment and training, and we don't have the money to provide them uh, the equipment and or the training. Palacio says the program would be similar to the community policing assisting effort at the Guam Police Department. Now, it was during the 27th Guam legislature that the program was signed into law. However, GFD officials confirmed that the program was just never budgeted for, and now seven years later, no request was ever made. Palacio says the extra help from the community would not only resolve the shortage in the stations, but also help at headquarters so the uniformed personnel, Palacio says, can instead be placed out in the field. Arceo says they will make the effort to hopefully begin the program next fiscal year. When we go before the senators this year to, for our budget request, all of those items are going to be included. Um, we're just going to throw it out there. This is how much we need to implement not just this program, but every other program that we would like to implement to include getting equipment um, and, um, and vehicles for our fleets. If the reserve program is implemented, Arceo says they would have to request an estimate of up to $1,200 annually to purchase gear for each volunteer. The law would also allow for a $50 stipend, which GFD would have to budget for as well. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.